Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Uh, so far, we have discussed uh, two searching strategies, which was not taking into account uh, the edges that are associated between uh, two consecutive nodes. <clears throat> um, so now we are going to discuss uh, an optimal strategy, which also takes into account uh, the cost of moving from one node to another. And uh, this algorithm is known as the extra or uh, also uniform cost search um, in graphs. So uh, the, there is there is basically, uh, there are three uh, major, major differences between uh, in implementation wise between Dextra and let's say uh, breadth of search and depth of search. Uh, so the first difference is, um, you know, in depth of search or in breadth of search, uh, we used to do exploration in terms of either first in first out basis or last in first out basis in in the case of dfs so first in first out basis in terms of bfs and last in first out basis in terms of uh, depth first search but herein we are going to explore our queue in uh, in terms of you know lowest cost um, query first uh, which in this case means that if i have uh, four or five nodes i'm going to explore that node first which has lowest cost associated to it uh, and that is uh, going to be done via priority queue um, so this is the first major difference let's say the second difference is that we are going to check that whether a particular goal node is our goal node uh, while while we have already explored uh, that node okay so we are going to look for that goal node if that goal node is apparent whereas in bfs and dfs if you uh, if you go through this uh, uh, through this code you know verbally uh, uh, maybe i've it's not written explicitly here but verbally uh, maybe i've already told you that you know the goal node will be the goal check will be done for a particular child, okay? So you are going to see if a particular child is a goal node uh, and then return the possible path in depth for search or a breadth for search. But here in in, in, in Dijkstra algorithm, we are not going to see whether or not part, a particular child is a goal node or not. We are actually going to check this um, with a parent. So while we are exploring a parent, you know, we are going to see whether or not that parent is a goal node rather than checking whether a child is a goal node or not, okay? And the reason is that, you know, if you if you just simply check that whether or not, whether, whether or not a child is a goal node and return the path, you know, there may exist another path from some other parent via some other parent that has the lowest cost associated to it, okay? We'll see a particular, particular example uh, just in a while. But this is the second uh, terms, uh, second difference in, in broader sense, okay? Uh, and the third test is that, uh, you know, we are going to check whether or not, uh, you know, the, uh, the goal node exists already in a frontier with a lower, lower cost. Uh, and in that case, we are going to replace that particular node, uh, you know, uh, in that frontier, but this is something that we are going to see. So these are the three differences, and let's see, uh, you know, these three differences in action right now. So these are the cities of Romania, uh, I believe, and so these are the distances between. Uh, I think in miles, for example, if you want to travel to Sibiu, if you want, to, if you want to tra travel to, you know, um, Ramniki Vulcha. Uh, I hope I've pronounced, pronounced this correctly. So if, you, if you're traveling from Sibiu to Ramniki Vulcha, you know, you have to travel 80 miles, for example. So these are the straight line, not straight line, you know, the, uh, the road distances between each uh, pair of cities, okay? And so let's say that you, have, you, are, you are starting from Sibiu and your goal is to reach Bucharest. Um, and so the algorithm starts, you know, in, sim in, in a similar fashion, we have, Frontier, which is a queue that will contain um, the nodes that I'm going to explore. And as I'm exploring, I will put my nodes from front frontier to explore set, okay? Apologies. But th there is something that I'm going to do. So when I say that I'm going to put a node in frontier, what I actually mean is that I will store an, an object, a node object, which has, you know, three or four attributes. Uh, so one attribute will be 
the name of the city. Uh, the second attribute will be its parent. And the third attribute will be the cost associated to uh, to reach that particular uh, node CPU, for example. Okay. Uh, and so, when I'm when whenever I'm st uh, inserting a node in Frontier, I mean that you know a node that has these three attributes or an object that has th these three three attributes. Okay. So let's say uh, if I start from CPU, uh, I put that node CPU in my Frontier, and then I check whether or not CPU is a goal node, which obviously it isn't. You know, my goal is to reach Bucharest, and then I explore. You know every child of CPU. So the first child of CPU is Fagarash. And then, um, so while I'm at Fagarash, I, you know, uh, I said that, okay, the parent of Fagarash is CPU and the cost to reach Fagarash is 99, okay? And so then I, I, I then insert this Fagarash into my, my frontier list, okay? Uh, and obviously uh, before that I have moved my parent node CPU from Frontier into my explode set, okay? And then uh, put first child Fagarash into my Frontier. And once again, by putting Fagarash into Frontier, I mean that, you know, the three attributes associated with this node Fagarash. Then I explored the second child of uh, CPU, which in this case is Ramnik Vulcha. And then uh, when I insert this node into uh, my Frontier, um, I know that, uh, you know, it has a cost associated of 80, okay? And so then at the end of this iteration, I have a couple of nodes in my frontier, Fagarash and uh, Ramnika Vulcha. And then I need to choose which node to explore first. And in this case, I'm, I will explore that node first, which has a lower cost. So obviously Ramnika Vulcha has uh, lower cost than Fagarash. And so that, then I'll, I'll explore, uh, I'll, basically pop this R node, Ramnik Vulcha, and put this in node in explore set, and then explore all the two, uh, all children of Ramnik Vulcha. The first child is, is Pitest, and then obviously this child doesn't exist in explore, and so therefore I will put this Pitest in front frontier. And once again, when, when I say that put this child, uh, this put this node pitest in frontier, I mean that, you know, there are three attributes of pitest. One is its name. The second attribute is its, is its parent, which is in this case is an Amnico Vulcha because I'm reaching pitest via Ramnico Vulcha as its parent. And then the third one is the cost associated to reach pitest via Ramnico Vulcha, which in this case is 80 plus 97, okay? So this, this cost is basically the cost associated to reach this node P, pitest from your starting node CBO, okay? Um, and so then I will insert this pitest into my frontier. And so therefore, you know, the first child of Ramnika Vulcha, which in this case is pitest, will be inserted into frontier. And so my frontier has currently two child, the uh, two, two children, the first one is Fagarash with, with the cost associated with 90, as 99. And the then the, the second one is pitest with, it, with the cost is, uh, you know, 170 something. And then, so this is the first child of Ramnik Vulcha, but the second child is actually CPU. So if you see, you know, this graph is not directed, which means that, you know, I can take any node and say that, okay, you know, I can interpret CPU as the child of Ramnik Vulcha, okay? So this goes, so the information goes, you know, um, in any direction, basically. So since CPU is also can be also considered as you know as a child of Ramnik Vulcha, you know then so but this you know, this node CPU has different attributes. So obviously the name is CPU, but you know, now if you go to CPU, you know back from Ramnik Vulcha, your parent will be Ramnik Vulcha, okay? And obviously the cost will be eighty plus eighty because I have moved from CPU to Ramnik Vulcha and then back to CPU. But you know this doesn't matter because you know, you, there is a check that if this child is already, well, if it's not an explorer frontier only, then I will insert that into frontier, okay? Which obviously isn't true because CPU already is expressed present in this explode set, okay? Uh, so, you know, when I when I, when I I start exploration, I, I, I put that CPU node in my explode set, okay? So if the explode set has the same name, okay? 
not necessarily the same attributes, but if it has the same name, then you don't need to, you know, re-explore that uh, that child, okay? So this means that this condition will be false and this condition is also false, okay? But we'll see this condition, what it is. So th this means that, you know, going from, going to Cebu from, you know, from Remnico Vulture has technically no effect in your, uh, you know, in your algorithm. Now, uh, so back to my explode. So, so by back to my frontier. So my frontier has, you know, now a couple of nodes. The first one is Fagarash with a cost of 99. The second one is Pitest with a with cost of 80 plus 97. So obviously 99 is less than 80 plus 97. So I'll explore, you know, Fagarash first. And by saying that, I mean that I'll put Fagarash from Frontier to my Explode set. And then my Frontier will only contain, you know, Pitasti now. And then, but before that, I have to explore, you know, all children of Fagarash. The first child of Fagarash is Bucharest. And obviously, you know, Bucharest has three attributes, its name, the parent is Fagarash and the associated cost is 99 plus 211. So for Bucharest, you know, this means that Bucharest via its parent Fagarash has a cost of 99 plus 211, we'll put that into, uh, into our frontier list. Okay, so now frontier will have two nodes. The first one is Pitest and the other one is Bucharest. And then again, so Fagaras has, you know, two children. The second child is Sibiu, but obviously, you know, this child is already explored. I don't need to do anything uh, in that case, okay? Now, uh, so then we have a couple of nodes. The first one is Pitas, the second one is Bucharest. So the cost of reaching Pitas is 80 plus 97. The cost of re reaching Bucharest is, um, you know, 99 plus 211, okay? So... Obviously, I will explore Pitest first, you know, then Bucharest. So the, if, if I have to explore Pitest first, then this means that, you know, uh, the first child of Pit, Pitest is once again Bucharest. But this time, Bucharest has different cost and different parent, okay? So this time, the, the parent of Bucharest is Pitest. And obviously, the cost of reaching Bucharest via this parent Pitest is 80 plus 97 plus 101 which if you see um, is less than 99 plus 211. So, you know, this no, the, this child of Pitest, which is Bucharest, which has a different cost, is already present in my frontier, okay? So this, uh, you know, it is already present in my frontier, but that node which is present in, in, in frontier has a different, you know, has a different parent and consequently different cost, okay? But since that cost is greater, so 211 plus 99 is greater than 80 plus 97 plus, you know, 101. So since, so then this condition comes into play. So if, if this is the case that any particular child you encounter is already present in Frontier, then, you know, replace that node Frontier with this new, uh, uh, you know, with this new path, but only if, you know, the associated cost is less, uh, you know, it's less than the cost associated to that node in frontier. So this means that if you encounter any child that is already present in your frontier, but has lower cost, then you should replace your node at frontier with this new node that, uh, with this, I mean, it's not a new node, it's the same node, but it is, this means that it is accessible via lower cost than the node that already present in your, uh, in your frontier or in, in your queue, okay? So we'll simply replace, you know, this node frontier with the new node Bucharest, which is available via Pitest, okay? And obviously the second child of Pitest is Ram Nikovulcha, but once again, this is already explored, so we don't, we don't need to re-explore it. And then in the end, you know, you'll see that the frontier, that the node in the frontier, which was replaced, remember, uh, we will, there's only that node that is to be explored now. But before we explore it, we check that whether or not that goal node, that is a goal node, okay? And since this book rest is a goal node, you know, I'll simply return the path, which in this case is, you know, the parent of book rest, which is, you know, Pitest, and then, you know, parent of Pitest, and then, you know, parent of that, and so on and so forth until you reach your, your root node. So in, this is how, you, you know, the uniform cost search or DAX algorithm works. There are three major 
uh, changes in terms of um, you know searching strategy the first change is that you know we are going to do exploration not on first come first serve or last and first serve basis but rather on the total path cost associated uh, with the priority queue the second difference is that we, the goal check is performed at the parent not at the child and the third uh, change in implementation is there is a check that if you if we, if we encounter a goal note if we if let's say if we encounter any child node that already exists in uh, in my queue and it has a lower cost then replace the queue with that uh, with that child okay um, so in the next video we are going to see the actual code in java for uh, the extra algorithm